What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Still kind of cool, South Georgia. It is oh, 11 o'clock and 50 degrees, so that's not too bad. I really should be out working today. <laughs> I sort of am. Uh, I just went by and looked at a property to give a lady a quote on doing a cleanup, and I'm headed to another property uh, to give a quote on doing a clean up so and it's gonna be a bunch of i think it sounds like a bunch of hedge trimming and and things of that nature um this lady's actually wanting three quotes so to, i'm doing this for her dad who lives on the property uh he's like 80 something years old i think still very independent cuts his own grass but the rest of the property has uh kind of gotten away from him and i don't typically I don't really like doing landscape only, hedge trimming only jobs that much, but situations like this, I'll do it. So she wants a price on A, cleaning up around the immediate house, B, cleaning up around the entire yard, and C, maintaining uh, both of those areas. So, which I'm not gonna give her a price on maintaining them. It's just gonna be one of those deals where I'm gonna tell them, hey, <laughs> You know this is what the price per service is if you don't let it get overgrown uh and i guess that would be a maintaining price but uh like i don't regularly maintain shrubs at a location that i don't mow the grass and the reason for that is you know if you mow the grass and you're there every week every two weeks whatever the case might be uh, you can keep an eye on things and you know when you need to touch up things and whatnot. So, and I don't think they're looking for anything. Uh, they're not trying to get garden of the year or anything. So, but I figured I'd get out and do a quote on a few of these properties, go ahead and, uh, you know, get them set up to jump on them in the next couple of weeks. Uh, still got a lot of work to do on my shop and all that, but I figured I could at least, uh, get some irons in the fire, generate a little bit of revenue. Uh, so, you know, the work I do at the shop could be kind of supported by the revenue I'm generating right now instead of continually eating away at my, uh, my, uh, winter fund, if you will. Uh, so, just to, uh. I don't know if I should say this or not, but I'm going to anyway because I like to be, you know, uh, just transparent about business. Now, I'm not going to give you the, the actual numbers, but I can tell you this. My business account has dropped by, let me see, I got to think about it, probably 15000 Is it 15000 Trying to do them. If I gave you the actual numbers, I could probably figure it out, but I don't want to do that. Uh, anyway, no, it's more than that. It's like twenty-five thousand dollars over the course of the off season. So, um, but there again, you know, we plan for that, and a lot of that has to do with the building, uh, the the shelters and the shop and and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, anyway, 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 anyway. Um, see, I don't know if he's at home, but I can already tell you, this is going to be a J-O-B. Let y'all see here. So you can't even hardly see the house. So, now, what she wants, first of all, is just right up around the immediate house. So that's going to be all of these azaleas and stuff, uh, cutting them way back, probably back to about wind, window height. Uh, so that's taking several feet um, off of them. And of course, she's going to want to have something done with all this, all this out here eventually, I guess. But uh, what I'm going to probably do, see, I don't know if he's home or not. I, I'm just driving all across the yard. I don't even know if I need to be doing that. But uh, I don't see a car there. And man, you got to be careful out here in the country, man. 
these guys got buckshot loaded. You know what I'm saying? Huh. You gotta be careful. But what we're gonna do initially, like I said, is just immediately up around the house getting everything cleaned up. So I'm gonna take a look at that. And probably what I'm gonna do, rather than trying to figure all this stuff up out here, you know, because the rest of this is kind of subjective, you know, like exactly what do you want trim? Everything, you know, uh, like something like that, for example. See, I'd want all that bottom cleaned out and at least everything lifted up in there where you could see through it kind of, but, you know. And then you got all these azaleas with trees growing in them. And, uh, so... anyway but what i'll probably do is give them a price up around the house and that's gonna you give them that price and that's gonna gauge if okay is this a customer that's gonna hey we just want it done we not i don't want to say not cost conscious but we're not nickel and diamond but if i give a price up around the house and they go oh man that's a little more than what we were planning on you know that kind of deal then you realize that then you hadn't wasted another hour trying to get all this other stuff together so i can look at this real quick walk around it in 10 minutes i can have my price on it so that's what i'm gonna do all right i'm just gonna let the camera kind of roll i mean all this is very basic uh you know i'd i'd be i'd take this stuff down to in here somewhere um so that's that's really simple um it does look like it's got a lot of vines and stuff in it. You try to rip that out like you got some trees growing back in behind that. Obviously, that needs to be trimmed up. Uh, again, down here, just some more basic, just some more basic trimming. And then, of course, you got here a car coming. And I think that's down the main road. And here you got all these little little trees that's just popping up that need to be cut out. Um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty decent size, uh, scope of work here. Then of course we got, uh, this around back, which this is not too bad. We got a little fruit tree here, looks like. We won't mess with it. Um. That right there is pretty simple. Probably just do a little trimming and weed eating in there. So. All right, they got me a walk around. Let me figure out what I need to charge on this. All right, so this can be a, I mean, just up around the house, it's going to be fairly simple. Really, of it, any of it be fairly simple. Uh, I'm figuring about uh, four man hours uh, for that job is the way I'm going to figure it. Um, you know. And it's basically, uh, you know, probably an hour and a half on the front, an hour and a half on the end, and then like an hour across the back. And that'll include, you know, cutting everything down and taking, that's assuming we can dump it on the property in the woods, which is only 100 feet behind the house. Uh, you know, if, if we have to haul debris off, you know, uh, we'll charge a dump fee. Uh, for that in which case this is only like two miles maybe three miles from my house so i just haul it back down here and dump it on all this other stuff i already got but you got to charge for your time and then eventually down here i got to burn it or do something when i clean all this other stuff up so uh, i'm gonna shoot a price over to her uh, this afternoon and you know see what she says and uh that's one of the ways you can figure stuff like that too. As you do it more and more, you know, you get used to, you can just look at something and go, you know, it's probably gonna take me this long. Uh, you probably always wanna add a little bit to that. Once you get better and better at it, you know, you'll get faster and faster and uh, you'll also get uh, more pre predictable that you can look at a job. I'm charging four hours for it. I don't really think it would, uh, take me by myself four hours but um there again you, you don't know what little things you're gonna run into uh 
you know you don't really have to worry about wasp nests and stuff like that right now because it's so cold out but you know i've had wasp nests before in them and that that end up costing me you know some time because first thing you do is you find them and you have to run from them and get stung by two or three of them then you got to go get your spray out the toolbox you got to go back look around try to figure out exactly where the nest is spray it look make sure you got them all you know then you get real careful after that because you're a little bit skittish you know so i also went by i did a short video earlier i went by and looked at another property clean up and uh then one of my daughters needs a uh, she needs a dog door installed um, and we're trying to figure out the best way to do that <laughs> it's a mess man it's a 30 inch exterior door uh, I just went by a place and tried to get a price on a door and it's like $460 for the door and the jam that's a composite jam that won't rot out uh, but that's a solid door no windows in it um, I don't know I'm still trying to figure out what's gonna be the best uh, best way to if she had a 36 inch door in there already it'd be a piece of, and actually the door I priced was a 36 so I'd have to tear out uh, I'd have to open up the opening because uh, it's so hard to get a 30 inch exterior door uh, without special order to get what you want and then anytime you say special order means dig deeper in the wallet so uh, so let's see what we get into the rest of the day oh and my whole point of saying i'm charging x amount of hours that's so you can you know if you if you if you're new to this you can look at something like that and you try to figure out how long it's going to take you and then your hourly rate is what your hourly rate is see uh your hourly rate where you at it might be 50 dollars an hour that might be you know that's that's really low but that might be, you know, kind of what everybody's charging around there, 50 to 60, and you got to stay somewhere in that range. Uh, you know, your hourly rate might be $120 an hour. Now, you can't get away with that around here where I'm at, but there are, you know, places where people are charging probably $100, $125 an hour, maybe more. Uh, but, you know maybe it's 75 dollars an hour you know but whatever it is if you figure out how long it's going to take you and and then you figure it up that way if you want to do it by the hour now you know if you got a better way then great do it a better way you know so anyway just sharing something maybe it'll help somebody all right i'm gonna close out the quote video because i got to get into something else so hey appreciate y'all watching and my prayer for you is always the same that the lord might richly bless you that you might see all of your blessings as from him. Hope you have a great day.